Step number four is to eat in more of a low carb manner and put those carbs in specific windows of time. Now, if you're eating a ketogenic diet or maybe a carnivore diet that's a really super low or zero carb diet, then you're already on the right track to really setting yourself up to creating this metabolic flexibility by teaching your body how to access stored fat and burn that for fuel. But if you're not eating that way, just lowering carbs and putting it into windows can be enough to help you create some flexibility. So we like to see people eat carbs in a way that might supply the body with some carbs that they need if they're in a situation where they really need a little more carbs but use carbohydrates that aren't going to create this big spike and crash and blood sugar the higher the carbohydrate count the more that insulin is going to go up and then the insulin stays high a lot longer than the blood sugar would so blood sugar comes down no fuel is left but insulin is too high still to allow the body to access stored fat for fuel step number five is to use intermittent fasting in if you qualify. So if you can extend that lower carb window in the morning by not having carbs in the morning, you might also be able to extend that window of eating by not having breakfast in the morning and just wait until lunch to eat. And that really allows insulin to come really low. Now keep in mind that intermittent fasting is not right for everybody. And some people have malfunctions or imbalances that can really be magnified by intermittent fasting and create a lot of trouble. So we'll put a link in the description below for our video on who should not use intermittent fasting so you can get some insights into whether that might be right for you and might be beneficial in this scenario. Step number six is to do some easy cardio. When you do easy, non-high impact cardio, you can burn fat for fuel during that exercise. When the exercise is too intense, the body's not gonna be able to burn fat as efficiently for most people. If somebody's really fat adapted and everything's going well, they can burn fat during some of those more intense things. But for most people, we wanna make that exercise easy where you can still carry on a conversation, you're not huffing and puffing, and everything's just going along. When you can give the body another opportunity like this to say, hey, well, I can burn fat for fuel to do this, it makes it more adapt to burning fat for fuel. Now, if you can put this easy exercise in the morning before you've eaten, then you're really magnifying the benefits because the body is already in this fasted state where it's ready to burn fat for fuel. And you go on an easy walk, maybe it's 30, 40 minutes or something, and you can burn fat during that process a lot easier. 